What's up everybody? My name is Ryan and on Entirely Honest, I hope to improve your life by sharing the ways that I improve mine. And in this video, I wanted to give another journey to 10 kilometer update. My last video on journey to 10 kilometer did so well, so I thought I would do another one. But on the real, I did just finish my run and it's a really exciting run because it's my first one since I started this journey that broke five kilometers. So I did it in 26 minutes and 16 seconds and I was able to achieve my average pace that I wanted to achieve that I talked about in my last video, which was five minutes and 15 seconds. So my average pace ended up being five minutes and 14 seconds but there was some faster kilometers in there, specifically the first two. I'll put up some screenshots about what my pace was for each kilometer. But, but yeah, I just wanted to make this journey to 10 kilometer video, update video, kind of to hold myself accountable. I was thinking that it's already the first week of October, like the first week of October is already finished. So if I am going to achieve this 10 kilometer run by the end of the year, I basically need to move up half a kilometer every week so that I can finish my run at the end of December. So it is kind of like nerve wracking a little bit. I am kind of uh, paying for my all the missed runs that I had since I started this journey. But it, it is really interesting um, just how far I've come. And I, I realized that the first, the first part of this journey, like getting to the first half, which was this five kilometers, I really focused a lot on like form and breathing and uh, just kind of building my cardiovascular system. And just like form was just so important. It was really hard to nail that down right. So I hope that now that I have that down and uh, my form is really good, that the latter half should just be uh, just building distance and building up my uh, cardio endurance. And as I mentioned in the last video too, I'm also using my Rogue Echo bike. So <laughs> if I'm out of breath right now, it's just because I finished that, finished the five kilometer run, I come inside and I did the uh, five minutes of high intensity interval training on the Echo bike. So I'm just really trying to build my cardio uh, fitness up so that I could do the 10 kilometer run. And uh, in my last video, when I did, I think 4.4 something kilometers, I did have to stop two times because I had like stuff in my shoes, but uh, this, this run, this five kilometers, it was completely nonstop. And it's actually the fastest 5K I've ever done in my life. So um, I was fortunate enough when I was younger with my stepfather, he would take us uh, to these five kilometer races. And I think the last one that I did, my time was like 28 minutes. I'm pretty sure, but like a 26, 16, five kilometer, that's like huge for me. So, so yeah, I don't know if, if you guys are at all interested in these, these videos, they don't do super well, but um, my channel is about sharing my self-improvement journey. So I did, I did want to make these update videos, keep you guys posted. Um, and it's also just to uh, kind of hold myself accountable as well um, to, get, to, get, to get myself to this 10 kilometer goal. And eventually I also, in this video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about like, looking forward for the rest of my journey, which I kind of already did, just like slowly building half a kilometer per week and using my echo bike. And um, yeah, just trying to avoid injury the best I can too. Um, but I also wanted to talk about like going forward, like what happens like after 10 kilometers. And my goal is to kind of do these like five kilometer runs every, every day, like five, six days a week. And that's kind of like what my goal is to be like a runner. So to, to do that five, six days a week, almost every day, um, running five kilometers a day. And that's, that's where I would be like really happy um, as, that, as having that as a long-term goal. But that's for the future, that's for next year. Right now I'm just gonna stay focused on the uh, 10 kilometer uh, run goal. And I think things are going really well. It's crazy to be already halfway, halfway there, but uh, when, I finish, when I finish that run, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I could do that all over again, but I'm going to have to. And uh, I don't know if I have any words of wisdom to offer this time, but um, what I would say is just like, if you are on a similar journey, like your own running journey, or even just your own like fitness journey, um, just move at your own pace, which doesn't mean, <laughs> which don't fall into the trap of like what I, what I used to do in the past, which was like a very, very slow pace. <laughs> but, but no, just like be smart about it. Like be smart how um, fast you go and how fast you, you push yourself. So with my running, for example, um, maybe I could have gone like um, faster and maybe I could have gotten to this point quicker, um, but I just gotta move at my own pace. Like I'm my own coach and I gotta listen to my body and do what's comfortable for me. And that also applies with like strength training as well. So I'm doing this convict conditioning program right now, which I'll probably make a video about in the future. And that program is just like a slow program. Like it's not like you're, you're like get abs in like six months or whatever. It's like a 10, 15 year commitment. And you just gotta trust like, and that, that just 
this yeah. goes into what I'm saying is like move at your own pace, do what feels right for you. And I think most importantly for me is I, I want to do these things. Like I want to run five kilometers a day, like, like into my nineties, right? Like I want to have things that are sustainable. And it feels like the way that I've taught myself to run with the, the four foot running, which I mentioned in the last video. So if you haven't seen that, definitely check out the last video. And um, yeah, with the convict conditioning, the, the body weight training, um, it just seems super sustainable as well um, compared to what I was doing before, which was like weightlifting. But I have another video. I've already been working on the script for that video. But yeah, this video, I just wanted to give you guys another sweaty post run video and just talk a little bit about um, how I got here and then what's to come in the future. So yeah, I think that's about it. Sorry if I rambled a lot here, but um, hopefully you guys get some inspiration or some motivation from, from me sharing my own uh, self-improvement journey and here specifically my journey to 10 kilometers. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be exciting and I hope to uh, see you guys uh, in December, the end of December, like Christmas time. That's, that's what I want for Christmas is a 10 kilometer run. So hopefully you'll see me here, maybe in a Santa hat talking about how I did a 10 kilometer run for Christmas. So, so that's about it. If you guys are into self-improvement, please check out some of the other videos on my channel. I have so many of them that you probably will find interesting, or at least I hope you find them interesting. I put a lot of work into them. So yeah, please enjoy them. And if you like the video, please give it a like and let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Maybe give me an update on your self-improvement journey. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Peace. Thank you.